welcome viewers learners and students to this stand alone mooc course ethics theories and applications let me introduce myself very briefly i am nandini sinha kapoor a professor with the school of interdisciplinary and transdisciplinary study at indira gandhi national open university i along with my colleague dr ashutosh vyas who is also a phd in philosophy from university of delhi are going to conduct this course ethics theories and applications welcome the basics are as follows duration of this course will be for 12 weeks or 3 months four credit course those who are registering uh, to get the credit will be getting four credit it will be followed by a term and examination what is the aim of this course in swayam mook stand alone course ethics theories and applications the learner would not only get familiarized with a historical overview of the major ethical theories but will also get the opportunity to explore the manner in which these theories come to be applied to see understand and resolve everyday ethical dilemmas scope and significance of ethics as we know that ethics is one of the inseparable components of the discipline of philosophy and ethics also are to be found in every aspect of life we humans are social creatures which means that i is not possible without you and our existence is almost always an existence with others being social agents our conduct and action in both private and public spheres get governed implicit or an explicit code of conduct which not only guide our interactions and engagements with other social agents and objects but also determines which actions are permissible in a given context and which actions are not permissible ethical or moral dilemmas arise whenever there is a tussle between a set of ethical norms and the agent is unable to adjudicate which one should be prioritized at the expense of the other for example what does one do if we find ourselves in a situation where we are required to choose between giving bribe and saving the life of a loved one allowing an unlawful transaction of money would save a loved one's life while refusing it would mean knowingly allowing the person to die but in giving bribe we should be violating a given social norm and would also be setting a wrong example for others who might suffer due to consequences of my actions in the long run it is every day situation like this that classical ethical theories may prove to be helpful to us this is the main aim with which the course would be conducted what would be the outcome of this course in this course the learner would explore firstly the nature and scope of ethics and develop an understanding of how far ethics can guide us along with its limitations secondly a learner would become aware of the challenges facing ethics and appreciate the importance that ethics and morality serve in the life of human beings thirdly study the major ethical principles and theories of indian tradition as presented in the vedas upanishads bhagavad gita as well as in the teachings of other schools of hinduism buddhism and jainism fourthly one would become acquainted with the ethical concepts of rit purushartha varnashrama nishkama karma sri ratna and panchavrat fifthly study some of the most popular ethical theories developed and discussed in the western philosophical traditions such as virtue ethics hedonism utilitarianism and deontology sixthly we shall understand presuppositions philosophical underpinnings and significance of human values such as sharing caring bearing cooperation along with the virtues of honesty courage love patience humility human rights and human duties 
And finally, we should understand or we shall be able to understand how a given ethical theory would respond to or resolve ethical or moral dilemmas with special focus being on the application of moral principles in the domains of international ethics, bioethics, environmental ethics and media ethics. We are still left with more objectives and outcome. We shall explore the various modes in which the ethical relation between an individual and the society at large manifests itself. We shall understand how resolution may be reached with the help of discourse ethics which may even serve as the backbone of peaceful coexistence with others. In the end, I wish to emphasize that this course will not only help the learner in their academic, professional or administrative engagements, but it will also help and guide their everyday conduct, making their interactions richer and more fruitful. Thank you so much for your patience hearing of this introduction to the Sayam MOOC course, Ethics, Theories and Applications. Namaskar.